So now we're gonna go and get some nice water grass, fellas. I'll show you why. So, as I just said, um, we're gonna grab some nice native water grass from a dam, fellas. So, we'll see you out there, guys. Stay tuned. And where I'm just going right now, this little ditch is uh, part of the Dumbo Young rainwater catchment. All the rainwater runs off that bushland up there and runs all the way down to the drinking water supply. But I don't drink the tap water, fellas. As far as I'm concerned, it's poison. And a lot of pesticides and crap run into this catchment area. So, sick of poisoning myself, fellas. So I just drink distilled water now. Some of this grass here, fellas. See all the beautiful native grass is full of seeds. So I'm gonna dig up some of that. And this is the actual dam, fellas, right? You could say, I was mucking around, a bit manic. It's a bit of fun, where I faked my own death. Everyone in Dumpy up what I got. Anyway, that's what you do, guys, when you're taking evil antidepressants. So, anyway, if you're interested in watching the video, if I remember, I'll put the link below in the description. If not, if I forget, remind me, or just search it. Billy fake uh, the day Billy died, and you'll find the video. Anyway, let's dig up some of this grass, fellas. guys there's about 10 beautiful uh, clumps of uh, beautiful native grass there a couple of species so we'll go and plant this where I'm going to show you soon so stay tuned fellas so I'm back home now fellas so these are going to be my uh, grey water for my washing machine recycling area so I can capture all my grey water and for my veggie garden might sound like a bit of a hypocrite guys but I just made a video today about being being very very careful of using these uh, Monsanto chemical drums for food storage and also rainwater storage uh, but you just need to realize that these need to be really really well cleaned soaked in basically sun bleached in the sun for at least six to twelve months and uh, yeah be very very careful of using them to capture your own drinking rainwater storing uh, food for human consumption and also for livestock consumption the hobby farmers use these as hobby farms around my area where people from the city and other country towns have got their own blocks of land they capture all their rainwater off their roof gutters and all lands in these and they bloody drink it they're crazy I cannot stress enough you want to get cancer guys do it it is absolutely shocking and I notice a lot of people in America who run their own homesteads and small hobby farms uh, just be very very careful I can't stress enough guys but like I say I am sound like a bit of a hypocrite because I'm actually using these for recycling my water <laughs> for my veggie garden but these have been very very well cleaned guys but anyway I'll leave it up to you to dislike it or like it but that's what we're going to use for that beautiful native grass guys so I'll show you what we're going to do so stay tuned I need to take this container down put it there and that big one there and we're going to put that up here so we're going to do a bit of rearranging so stay tuned and I've got a couple of pellets there just set up for this one but I need to straighten them out they're a bit uh, wobbly at the moment not on a straight and narrow path there on an angle all right fellas so I've just moved that half a cage right there so we're gonna put that other one that big one there right next to this one so it's also good too guys it's just a little bit more privacy so we'll move that now My camera footage old guys but anyway it's up there so what we're going to do now is wire it so it's all wide fellas so it doesn't come off so i'll just show you so this one here is wide and there's no way it's going to come off so we'll do the same it's nice probably two or three strands of wire like this one can't get a screwdriver my code complies for that wire fellas and i just noticed a 
little, little tiny eucalyptus tree coming up what I just left so this was amongst those reeds I just dug up so we'll take that and try and grow it but I won't be planting that in my yard fellas these get huge and serious serious, serious risk of uh, the tree falling on your house because uh, eucalyptus trees are like a self pruning tree their big branches automatically fall off and many people get killed by them I've had a farmer not far from my hometown, a town called Wickerpen or Yillering, I think, possibly Corrigan. He was opening up a farm gate and lo and behold a big branch of a eucalyptus tree fell, you know, self pruned, just fell off in the wind and fell on him and killed him. But anyway, we'll try and save this little beautiful eucalyptus tree. It's getting a bit droopy since I ripped it up, but we'll save it. And some Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't drink many Cokes, guys, but just some really hot days, a nice of a nice cold icy coke. So I'll grab those, put one in the freezer right now, it's quite warm. Alright fellas, we just potted it, so we'll put it in this tadpole water. So I'll just quickly give it a good soaking. And that will hopefully save it. It's amazing. You know, all the roots are still totally intact, but when you remove it from the place where it's growing, it immediately affects the, the actual tree. It starts to wither and die away really, really quickly. Look at that, guys. The leaves have gone down really quick just since I put it out of my truck. So we'll see if we can save it. So stay tuned fellas for an update, we'll see if those leaves come back up, they should do. Alright fellas, as you can see I am no expert with fencing and twisting wire but it's pretty strong guys, it's not going to go anywhere. Anyway, also this one's all set up, so what we're going to do now is put those beautiful water plants in there. We're going to try and create a nice healthy ecosystem and who knows guys, uh, water we make out of this is going to go in the organic garden and so we're going to like I say we'll put the plants in here all right fellas let's grab these grass species all right fellas so all the grass is in there I have another species of grass I'm going to put that in another container exactly like this under my uh, patio and do the same so all what's going to go in here guys is just washing machine water so it's going to be grey water. All right, fellas, time to do an experiment. I uh, got some new connect, uh, connection points for these hoses yesterday. So we're going to put this in here, and this is going to run for my washing machine. Hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully the gravity is going to be all right. It should be, fellas. And uh, we're going to put the washing machine on right now and connect it all up out of that window right there. And let's hope when the washing machine does the spin cycle or the water's going to run into here and just so we can get all that this uh, grass nice and moist fellas for a start and we're going to do the same with these ones as well and just for the gravity fellas I'm going to have to thread it I think through these bars into there I think it should work Alright fellas, let's see if it's going to work. I'll put the washing machine on and we'll block up that window so flies and stuff and mosquitoes don't get in the house. Alright, put it on small, close in there guys, just a small load, excuse a dusty mess. And also with this hose here guys I can still unattach that because this water here I use for flushing my toilet. So I save, you know, it adds up. I save a, quite a little bit of money, guys, not using my toilet flusher. So I, I just use the bucket, fill up a bucket and flush the toilet like that, guys. So it's a good way to uh, save money and save water. Go, it's good for the environment. So anyway, we'll see what happens when this goes into the spin cycle. Stay tuned, fellas. All right, fellas, it's starting to spin, so let's go and see if it's going out of the hose all right. Hopefully the gravity's okay. 
and it's working absolutely beautifully. Look at this guys, look at this. So all of this beautiful washing machine water will um, go into these drums here so I can recycle all the water for my organic vegetable garden. And also fellas, a really good inspiration. Um, what gave me this idea to put these nice native West Australian water plants in here is a guy by the name of Alosha Linov. He's a Russian or Ukrainian guy who lives in South Africa and he does amazing videos on capturing uh, grey water and turning backyards into literal uh, water oasises. So he's linked below guys but anyway so all of this water here eventually will turn into uh, water what's literally good enough to be able to, to be drunk. <clears throat> I won't be drinking it guys but all of this water will be uh, going into my organic garden and fruit trees and veggie, uh, all my other trees and so forth. So basically these nice native plants, water plants will turn all this dirty grey water from the washing machine into beautiful healthy water and it also attracts insects and um, micro ecosystems and stuff once all the uh, these plants start to you know work properly and grow and generate new growth and so much more so check out Alosha's YouTube channel fellas he gave me the inspiration to put these water plants in so it's looking really really good thanks guys have a nice day we'll catch you later see ya Are you worried that recycling of grey water can bring an awful smell and mosquitoes as well as be harmful for your family and your garden? Do you want to learn how to easily and safely recycle all of your grey water? The good news is that upcycling of your wastewater can save you thousands of litres and more than half of your water bill. Hi, my name is Alosha Linov and I have taught thousands of people around the globe on how they can construct their own biological DIY grey water recycling systems. You can learn right now how to make your own water sanitizing system that will turn grey water waste into water that is free of pathogenic bacteria and is actually nutritious and delicious for your organic vegetable garden and for flushing of loose. If you will benefit from a guided step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to master making your very own grey water constructed wetland to be able to reuse your wastewater seven times over around your garden home, then click on the link right below to gain your access right now.